it's really hard to just talk about one. Um, this is anecdotal, but I think our firm handles more wrongful death cases on the plaintiff side than any firm in the state. And I've had a lot of insurance companies tell me that. We represented a, the family of an 18 year old kid who was just going home. He knew the route very well. It was like midnight. He was, he was a volunteer firefighter. He knew how to drive that road and inexplicably he lost control and hit a tree and died. Nobody could figure out what happened. The mother uh, hired us to investigate and we did. And we found that there had been a, a power line pole that had been downed in a storm and someone had cut that pole off, but they left six foot of it in the roadway. And that night it had been raining and it was a very dark pavement and you couldn't see that at night. And so we investigated and finally, after a lot of digging, we found that the co-op had a young man out there and he's the one that cut that pole off. And that company did everything they could to hide the fact that that young man had cut that pole off and left it sticking in there. It took a lot of digging and a lot of depositions. And finally, we found the guy that did it, took his deposition, he admitted it. That young man's pickup truck, the right front wheel hit that pole and it just twisted that vehicle around. The truck rotated and he hit the tree and it never would have happened if they'd done it right. And after we finally got this young man under oath, and by the way, he never even knew about the accident. Nobody told him about it from that company. And once we uncovered all this, uh, it, I can't tell you the amount because they're always confidential. They always want to seal that up. But it was an awful lot of money, more than that family ever thought they'd get. And all of that came out of just dogged determination and detective work. And so I'm pretty proud of that. Very fond of the mother. I stay in touch with the mother on Facebook now. But that's what we do a lot of. And my law partner, Mike, and I both are very in tune to death. I've lost two sons to two different diseases of the brain. And Mike lost his niece to addiction. And I think that gives us a leg up because our job is to explain to that jury how it feels when you've lost a loved one. And the fact that we know that so deeply, I think gives us a leg up that other lawyers don't have because we're very passionate. We know how that feels.